Mountain Spirits, and your name again? My name is Denise Joy. Denise, how long have you been doing this craft? This is not a craft. This is a, I am an herbalist, and herbalism is not a craft. It's an ancient folklore medicine tradition. I am a traditional herbalist. I was trained by my great-grandmother starting when I was eight years old. I'm 47. You do the math. I love that that bad question for me got so much passion from you. Yeah. That's good. So tell me, what, how do you make your products? Where do you go for some of your materials? Most of my materials are herbs or plants from the ground. So whatever I can on the North Olympic Peninsula, we are blessed with the type of environment that plants grow here and they grow very prolifically and we have an array of probably 30 to 40 wild plants that would be considered herbs and so I harvest I go around I talk to farmers and I ask if I can pull their weeds and because their weeds are my medicine and then I use an alcohol base mm -hmm. to infuse the weeds like somebody would put uh, tea into a cup of water I put weeds into an alcohol base and that becomes a tincture right. after a certain amount of time for things like salves or um, well let's go with salves with salves it's an oil base it's the same process as a tincture I take the plant material and I soak it in an oil some plants require a warm infusion other plants require a cold infusion so depending on what plant material and that's the difference between an herbalist and a novice. I know exactly what plants will break down in the heat and no longer be medicinal. One of my favorite products that you sell is chamomile. We refer to it first aid in, in a jar because we use it for so many things. What are some of your most frequently selling? A calendula. Calendula. Okay. Sorry. So, what are some of your most uh, popular um, creams that you make? The most popular salve I make is the healing salve and the reason for the healing salve is it includes calendula, also chamomile, and about eight other herbs and it can be used internally as well as externally because there's no essential oil in it. So say a woman is having female problems, it can be used there. Um, if you have canker sores in your mouth, you can put the salve in your mouth. Um, the other product that people really like is lizard cream and I think a lot of it has to do with the name it's good for scaly skin and people put it on the backs of their heels that crack or even just use it I have a lot of nurse practitioners that are wearing gloves in and out all day yes. and they use it to keep their hands moist and not get um, cut or burned how many years have you been here at the farmers market how many years has the market been going I, I'm the first vendor are you in fact the first vendor? And what do you enjoy? What does it give to you as a business person? As a in your heart. What I really like about it is that it's an open air market, so it doesn't have that closed feeling of a craft fair. We can look at each other and we get to know our neighbors and and I get to talk to people and enjoy their company and see the locals in my community. And especially now, I just recently closed a retail store and it, it gives me a personal connection with, my, with the people I'm, su I'm supplying medicine for. Right. And that direct purchase and direct way of doing it. So, yes. Thank you very, very much for being here from the first day. And thank you for the interview with 4-H News. No problem. Thank you, guys.